Robert Akumensa says, Mr. Avale, how about those of us in Europe? If we send money to our relatives via, say, tap tap, how will it work? Will we be charged e levy? Okay, so when in doubt, consult the law and break it down into the individual components. So mm -hmm. the law defines uh, electronic transfer as a transfer of um, money originating from some originator through a medium, an institution, or mm -hmm. a platform to a beneficiary. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for simplicity, GRE need to find who the charging parties are. So for foreign remittance, the originator is mostly not to be found. He is not within our jurisdiction. Yeah. And um, the charging party is not the one who is sending. He is the intermediary. Meanwhile, the, the, the law says that charge the originator, mm -hmm. the sender. Now, here is the case the sender yes, uh, is nowhere to be, found. to be found. So how, how are you going to charge the sender? So this is one of the technical ones that we think... It, so it any money is, originated from abroad, even if it's coming directly to your momo, so long as it's from abroad, you will know it's not from here. Yeah. You would know. You would know. Yeah. By that business model, they would know that this is a foreign remittance. Yeah. It has the transaction ID and all those codes following Being it. Being initiated from So mm. it, 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 the law didn't directly mention it, but going by the business model, we mm. believe that is out of scope.